Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Chris from Lit Up Baby Studios, home of the Bricks, here tonight with y'all doing another edition of Comida Mi Vida, trying to find the best tacos in Austin, Texas. Let's talk about it. Tonight, we're checking out a famous staple from the city, Rosita's Al Pastor. So, of course, we had to get some of the Al Pastor. So, Rosita's Al Pastor tacos has been a staple in Austin, Texas for a while. They've won taco awards and stuff. The east side off of, uh, off of Riverside, the hood I chilled out in growing up. You know what I'm saying? That's where I was hanging out all the time. You can find me out there on Riverside or Old Tour. Feels like home seeing a plate of Rosita's tacos. I'm not going to lie. I've been on to these guys for well over a decade now. Good, good tacos. But I, I don't think I've, I might have tried the bistec before. I'm pretty sure I've tried the carnitas. But Al Pastor is the go-to at Al Pastor. Shout out to everybody from Austin, Texas who knows about Rosita's. Y'all know what's going on with it. But if you are visiting, I'm going to let y'all know if this is to check out or not. Look at these tacos right here. Those are some pretty. Bistec, carnitas, al pastor. With the limon and the salsas. This is episode two of the Let's Talk About It edition. I guess I'm gonna start off with the uh, with this beautiful flour tortilla al pastor. We always get the same three tacos: al pastor, carnitas, and bistec. We have to have similar comparisons, but if they don't got one or the other, we'll get something different. All right, here we go. Let's let's start off by squeezing some lime on all this. Got to get the limon involved on everything. Squeeze that lime juice on all of it. I'm going to try it first without the sauces, and then we're going to go ahead and, and check out how good the sauces are. All right, Alpa Store Taco, here we go. Mm. Okay. Well, I love about Alpa Store, they have the best, the best flour tortillas. The best flour tortillas. You cannot find a better flour tortilla in the game. The absolute best flour tortillas. Love them. I know a lot of people aren't like flour tortilla people. I know my my Atletico Mexicanos out there are like, who eats flour tortillas? Let me tell you what. These flour tortillas will make you change your mind. Mmm. Mmm. The best flour tortillas. All right. The best alpha store that I've ever had. So, for the Alpazor Taco, I'm going to have to give that a 9.3. A 9.3. They have the best Alpazor Tacos you will find that I know of. But that's why we're doing this. Because I'm going to find, I'm trying to find a better one. They might even be a 10, but you can't go with a 10 just off the bat. Because how are you going to get better? I haven't tried all the tacos yet. So, Alpazor may be the best Alpazor Taco. But for the sakes of us trying to find better ones. I'm going to give it a 9.3. 9.3. Taco alone. No salsa. See, I'm supposed to wait for the salsa, but I just want to eat it. I just want to eat the whole damn taco. All right. Now we're going to the carnitas. See, what's cool about this 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 one is a little greasy because it's next to the carnitas, but the Alpastor taco doesn't ever get greasy, really, you know? All right. Carnitas taco. Here we go. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right, right there. That is a that is a good taco right here. You have to get it with onions and cilantro every time. Onions and cilantro, everything. Um Yeah, that's a good carnitas right there. It has good flavor and stuff. It is a good carnitas. Maybe it needs a little salt. It is pretty greasy. Look at that shiny glistening tortilla. They luckily give you the two tortilla combo. They know the drill. You know, that's how you're supposed to do street tacos. But pretty greasy. Tortillas look like they are kind of starting to sog up and rip apart. The meat is good. The meat is good. I bet the flavor is freaking delicious. I bet if it had a little bit of salt, maybe not salt, maybe some of these sauces were elevated to the next level. Overall, I'd say this carnitas taco is about... An 8. 8.3. 8.3. I'd say give it an 8.3. You know, if it was a little less greasy, 
probably be better. The flavors is there. It needs just a little something else though. I'm about to try it with the salsa. All right, now we're on to the bistec. Bistec tacos, flour tortilla. This tortilla, because it's next to these carnitas, is become a little greasy, but it's honestly not that bad. And uh, I love this flour tortilla that they got here. So and they get me excited with their flour tortillas. Their flour tortillas get a 10. That's that's for sure. It ups anything that it gets a 10. Flour tortilla is a 10. All right, let's see what's up with this bistec taco. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Now that, that is a freaking delicious taco right there. Oh, wow. Bistec tacos, 9.3, not gonna lie. That, man, that is a delicious, delicious taco. Um, wow, so what, they got a 9.3, an 8.3, and a 9.3, that's without the salsas, and I'm, this green salsa that they have too, is absolutely fire. I know most people will drizzle the salsa on it. I'm going to do a dip because I wanna try both salsas. But whoa, whoa! That green salsa is a spicy. Get ready for a salsa that packs a punch. All right, green salsa on the Alpha Store taco. How are we gonna grade these salsas now? Wow. Okay. Mmm. All right. Whoa, that is hot. That was really hot. That was really good. But damn, that was hot. Yep, that salsa. That's good green salsa right there. It was creamy. Yeah, it's not a tomatillo type, like real liquidy salsa. It is spicy though. Man, get ready for it. I don't know if y'all have ever had. Shout out to Rambler. We go. Open this up and give it a. Ooh, man, spice, bitch. I cannot handle spices. That right there was delicious. I want to see if this red salsa makes this carnitas get any better. The carnitas is the one that needs the salsa. Let's see what's up. Red salsa is not as spicy. You got a little kick to it though. A little kick. Tiny kick. You know what I'm saying? Baby kick. It doesn't really have any flavor. The red salsa really didn't do it for me too much. Let's go to the green salsa. Check out this green salsa though. You know what? It's not making it any better. It's hot. It's hot. Okay. So. Whew. Rambler. I'm gonna tell you right now. If you go there and you order the bistec taco in the in the Alpa store taco, you will not be disappointed. You try out their flour tortillas, you will not be disappointed. There is a chance you might be disappointed with the carnitas because they have good flavor, but they're extremely greasy and the tortillas are falling apart. So but that all being said, it's really good. Rosita's is really good. Place gets like a, a 8.6, 8.7, 8.7. That's what we going with. That is a fire ass taco place. Honestly, I'm about to just smash this freaking bistec taco because this shit right here. Mm, mm. That shit is good as fuck. Y'all let me know in the comments. If y'all go and check them out. If you went out to Texas, make sure to pull up and check them out. I'll be having a go, man. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.